What's happening people? Back in the kitchen again today and it's another new product from the new Twisted Ranger Iceland. Now this one, I'm going to do it a little bit different. I've seen a couple of people do this on YouTube already. Mike Does Food Reviews has just done one. I'll, uh, I'll link his video at the end of this one. He oven cooked it. Now I'm going to do it a little bit different because I have a little bit of a... I've got a tower air fryer here so I've got a bit of an idea. So it is a double XL double cheeseburger kebab. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and use the rotisserie feature on this tower air fryer and you get these kebabs on the rotisserie. Now, I don't know if that's going to make them less juicy, so the fats are not sitting in their own fat, the actual fat's dripping off, or maybe it's going to make it better, cook even more evenly. I don't know. It's a bit of an experiment. It's twisted already because it's a burger kebab, so it's a double cheeseburger kebab. So we'll have a look at this pack, and then we'll try try and make it fit into this rotisserie. I'm not sure if it will, because I don't, all the the, um, the extra bits for the, the tower are made for a chicken, aren't they? But looking at these, should work. They are pretty big, so they might be, they might be big enough to reach from side to side. We'll give it a go, a bit of an experiment. Let's have a look at the pack. So this is the pack, well the sleeve. As seen on social media, two double XL double cheeseburger kebabs, 480 grams. And so you get like these kebabs, I mean they are, they are there. And then you get like this cheese sauce to spread over the top to make it like cheeseburger. But I think like the gherkins and everything with the cheeseburger is all in, already included in the meat. So it looks good. I hope you have any of this salad though, I'll just be trying that. Just be trying the um the burger kebabs. So as we said about the um in the last video, the last twisted video I did, they've got 40 million followers worldwide in all these social media platforms, including YouTube. I will tag them in this again. 2.1 million for subscribers, I think they've got. So they're cracking on. These are oven so it says oven from frozen there. So 180, 45 minutes, it says separate and turn halfway through. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to rotisserie them because I'm a rebel. Even though it says cook it in this metal tub, I'm going to use this metal tub for something else. <laughs> Maybe some home cooking. And uh, I'm going to get them on this rotisserie, if it's possible. I might have to re-record uh, re this if it's not. <laughs> so there are the ingredients. So... 36% pork and 22% beef. So it's 58% meat. 9% grated cheddar and coloured cheddar cheese. So, and 8% uh, burger sauce. So you've got some allergens there. You've got um, milk, egg, mustard, celery. And that is it. Pickled gherkins, 5%. So yeah, the gherkins are already in the, um, in the meat. Oh, sounds good, that. Let's have a look. That's the nutritional information there. Per half a pack, so that's one of these, is 477 calories. 37.3 grams of protein in one of these. Twisted, two double XL double cheeseburger kebabs. Two pork and beef kebabs on sticks with smoked bacon, cheddar and coloured cheddar cheeses, diced gherkins and a sachet of burger sauce. Origins of the pork, EU, origin of beef, EU, produced in Poland for Iceland foods. Got a PL sticker there. Scan me for recipes and more. Scan that QR code if you were interested in doing that. Okay, so like I said, I've got my uh, little element here. Now I've got to figure out a way of getting two on that. Maybe I'll just put it in the middle and not put this through. I'll experiment and I'll bring you back when it's time to put it in the in the tower. So I have managed to get the rotisserie in, stuck in both ends, and then the um, the middle stick is just in between the two kebabs. So let's see how it goes. We'll get it in this tower now on the rotisserie. <laughs> So 
So it did say cook in the oven from frozen at 180 for 40 to 45 minutes. 45 minutes. So what I've done is I've put it on for half an hour on this rotisserie because the automatic setting on this rotisserie is 200 degrees. Obviously it heats up faster, it should have cooked faster in the air fryer. So we're... It's fallen off! It's fallen off! Disaster! Oh man, I just heard it go. <coughs> One of them has fallen off. Damn it. Damn it. I'm just going to put it on the shelf and see if the other one survives. I can't believe it's fallen off. Oh man, <sighs> disaster. This is why you shouldn't experiment. Just put it in the oven 45 minutes, Dino. God. Okay, that was a fail. They both fell off the rotisserie because the, they probably could have done one if I'd have put the metal all the way through one. Uh, however, it's, it's, that's looking like it was cooking really nicely as well. It's only been in for, what, 10 minutes? It's a shame. But they're in the sh on the shelf now, just cooking away normally. So, oh well, you never you never succeed in anything if you don't try. If at first you don't succeed, try and try and try again, or just cook it a different way. <laughs> so they are done. Unfortunately, as you know, the rotisserie failed, but they're looking good. Take a close look at this. So your sachet of sauce you just put into a uh, hot water and then it's like a cheese sauce to go over the top of this. So let's get these out and onto a, this plate now. Ooh, smells unbelievable in this kitchen and there we go. Look at that. Now I had to trim the, the sticks down because for the rotisserie they wouldn't go on. They wouldn't fit. But, all's good now. So, there they are. They look like really good burgers, burgers, don't they? I feel like I should have got a big, like a, a baguette or a, a hot dog bun and put pulled the stick out and put this in there. I mean, like that would have been a, like a hot dog burger mix, hot dog burger kebab mix. Right, so we've got to drizzle this over the top of these now. So, here we go. That is the final product. So, what do you think? Not bad, eh? Let's have a taste. So, it's all important taste time. And I'm not gonna lie, this the cheese sauce, the burger sauce, or even not the cheese sauce, sorry, it's not cheese, just looks like cheese. The burger sauce actually smells unbelievable. So, let's just go straight in for a bite. Tastes just like a cheeseburger. Put the meat in there. See the gherkins in there? Chopped and diced gherkins. Loving that. Mm. Really good quality, actually, as well. Mm. 
the burger sauce is on point. The gherkins are, I love gherkins. Really nice this. Look at that. The outer edge is crispy, like charred, nice and gnarly bits. The burger sauce is really good. The outer edge is like all nice and charred and the inside is nice and soft and juicy, just like you want your burger to be. That burger sauce that goes over top is fantastic. Big fan of these, absolutely fantastic. Massive sticking point is the six quid and you only get two. Currently two for a tenner, but I don't know if that's an opening offer. Six quid. That's a lot in it for just two two of the two three pound per three quid for that. They are quite big, but would you pay three quid for the one? You could probably make it yourself. Chop yourself some gherkins up, get some nice pork and beef mince, and make them yourself. Maybe I try that in the future and that way it'll work on the rotisserie. Don't know. This, for taste, it's a 10 out of 10, like literally 10 out of 10. But you've got to consider the, the price point and the value. I think I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. It's really nice. And if it's in your budget, I recommend getting it. Two for a tenner, three quid, uh, six quid each pack. I don't know. If you've had this, if you've tried this, if you're one of them people that new stuff, try it, try it, try it, try it. Let me know in the comments what you think. I'm going to finish these because oh, 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 they are tasty. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you again tomorrow for another food review. Let's go. Did somebody say just oh, oh. What's happening people? Back in the kitchen again. Hope you're all fantastic. Thanks for watching. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Would be special. Oh, oh, oh. Wouldn't buy that again.